Hi guys, it's Dakota. Hope everybody's doing well. How about that picture of that multicolored wasp nest, right? Um, it's truly amazing. It, it, it blew me away when I saw it. It's a real deal. Um, I looked it up actually, and sadly, and I'm going to tell you the truth, I did not read all about it. I just looked it up because I thought, oh, this is fake news, <laughs> you know, and I looked it up and there's actually several websites out there about, uh, about how they do it. And it's done with colored paper. Now, I don't know if they uh, keep the, the wasps in some sort of contained area. And then the only thing the wasps have to build their nest is this colored paper. And that's how they do it. But they do it. And, and it, was, it was amazing. They're beautiful. They're so gorgeous. Um, but uh, so that was a few months ago. Okay, so that was a few months ago that I read about that. And, uh, and I, you know, whatever, it was really interesting. I just let it go. Well, then, um, you know how I am with synchronicities. And I mean, I think synchronicities are like the coolest thing. When something happens, you just kind of sit back and go, oh my gosh, you know, like, wow, that is so cool. But I've told you this, like almost every video, the last few months, and now it's been like the last three or four months, synchronicities have been huge for me huge um almost with everything it's bizarre it's just really bizarre and i'm just going with the flow i know that there's a message and i don't know what the message is yet but i just go with the flow and i'm sure that the message will be delivered at some point so about two or three weeks ago, my husband is on the front porch and you know, we live on the farm. So we have horse stables and we've got some barns and some outbuildings. I've got flower beds, I've got gardens, I've got all the woods, the trees and everything. And bees are wasps are pollinators. So we have a lot of wasps. I think the barns and underneath the eaves, I think they prefer a darker, cooler spot maybe. I'm not sure. I didn't research the wasp. However, wasp nests are everywhere and we do have to walk around and knock the wasp nests down. Uh, one, and, you know, I know that some of you probably don't agree with that, but the thing is I've got my horse, like I said, and my dog and, and, and us. I mean, when my husband got, got stung in his calf, it was huge. I mean, it was bright red and it was hot and he said when he took a step it felt like it was going to bust open because it was so swollen i don't care to be stung by a wasp i really don't and i don't certainly don't want my animals you know to be stung and they're very aggressive wasps are very and they don't care who they sting really they don't so um anyway so this is the wasp nest and so we knocked them down knocks them down and uh so i and i collect them i keep them I keep them for spell work. I, and I, look at the little, um, you know, I mean, they're perfect. The little combs, I'm gonna call them honeycomb even though it's not honey, but the little, they're just perfect. So here's the thing, you know, a, a guy that, that mentors me in, uh, he's a root worker. Um, he had told me before that a wasp nest is really, really good for, and, and traditionally is used in, in especially in hoodoo, um, I guess. Uh, I'm not an expert in hoodoo, so I, it's not my path. Um, I, he is a mentor, he works with me. I'm very, very, very interested in uh, working roots. Um, swamp witchy, uh, feral, hashtag feral, hashtag witch, <laughs> swamp witch. Um, long story, maybe that, I'll put that down on my list and we'll talk about that one day. Anyway, he said that traditionally the wash mess was used for business opportunity, success, uh, growth. Um, so like if you were maybe if you had an idea for a new business or you just started a new business and you wanted it to grow, um, that, that sort of thing. So success, um, opportunity, uh, wealth, prosperity, those are the things that come with that. And 
it's because when you when you look at the bee, the wasp, um, they're really, really hard workers. They're very hard workers. That's not easy to do. Uh, probably is easy for them to do, but it takes a lot of work to do that. So, um, and when they do it, they are successful. When, when the nest is successful, then they are able to lay their larva, lay the seeds. The seeds then are planted. And then after a while, they, they hatch and they sprout, they sprout wings. The business sprouts wings and it grows, it continues to grow. So growth, increase in business, increase in your sales. Um, again, if you have an, a, an idea for a business that you're, you're trying to, to do, um, this is a good thing to use. So I have done some business spells for clients using these and some have been successful some not so much um that could either be i didn't do it right i don't think there's a right or a wrong the person that the client that i did the spell for perhaps they didn't do their part uh because i'm not going to do all the work for you you're going to have a part you're going to have something to do with your energy so maybe they didn't complete their task and maybe the universe said now is not the time for this to happen. You need to be working on this right now. And so we're not going forward on, on a business venture right now. Who knows? But that is t uh, traditionally what they are used for. Okay, so you know me. I'm not the traditional witch. <laughs> um, I, uh, I really enjoy getting out of the box way out of the box not just stepping out and looking around but i mean getting out of the box and thinking beyond and uh which which really reminds me um you know i didn't do the video last week took that little break i had this year not taught any classes at my store because the whole COVID thing i got through last year and i wanted to uh, this year it was it was hard mentally exhausting last year with COVID and everything. So this year I said, you know, I just need a break. I need a mental break. I'm taking a break and not teaching any classes, but ironically, I ended up taking three classes <laughs> for myself uh, that I've been wanting to take. And one of the classes is pretty, it involves a lot of deep work uh, going in and really like you hear me say all the time, dissecting things that you're doing and why you would do it or you know hey here's um here's a piece of paper i need this what can i do with that piece of paper and then dissecting that paper what is it well it's tree starts with tree uh and you know really doing that kind of work and i'm loving it it's it's pretty deep it's pretty involved um it's pr it's pretty intense it's, it's a year and a day. And so I, I'm real involved with that. Anyway, I took, I took a break, but it has helped me. I've, I've always kind of been like the outcast as far as being outside of the box. Um, I like to, I like to read about spells. I like to watch spell work on YouTube. Um, I like to be mentored in spell work and then take that and make it your own and but not just that but make it your own completely different than anybody else so or not or not but just to make it completely your own so when i started examining the bee the wasp um i i looked at it and i said well you know yeah it's good for all of that and i see how it is good for business and prosperity and success because it's building laying the seed planting the seed having it spread you know birthing the seed it's the birthing of the seed and then it spreads its wings and your business takes off so i love that i do love that but i also saw it of course i saw it as protection right because it's a wasp i mean that was pretty easy 
um, that you could use it for protection. And how would you do that? Um, I mean, all different kinds of ways, uh, whatever you thought. Today we're going to do a spell. Well, okay, so so all different ways. Uh, and I'm going to show you a spell today on something else, but um, on, on, on something else. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to put that in the title because this video is kind of about, I'm sort of getting on the rambling thing. Um, but for protection, you could put it in a in a bag hang it on your front door put it in your car uh if you put it in a bag carry it with you um, all different things that you could do for protection because you know it's think of that think of that wasp so you can just be walking down the road and it's going to sting so it's going to keep that energy anybody that's trying to send you anything that isn't serving your highest good that's negative or you know whatever you think um those wasps they're going to get it before it gets to you because that's just how they are um they won't let you get close to the nest so it's good for protection i thought that was pretty easy but i wanted to go deeper than that so I decided that I was going to use, I, I took the wasp itself and I, and I said, all right, obviously the wasp is element of air because it has wings. So it flies. It's the element of air. What is the air? Mm, okay. Let's just break it down real simple. Air is communication, talk. Okay. Talking, communication. Um, and and wind, so if you, and breath, so when you talk, um, that blows, right? Like the wind, it spreads like the wind. Spreading the wings, they fly, they can fly all over. So definitely element of the air. Fire, of course, gets stung by a bee. I hope you're not allergic. They hurt very, very bad. My husband's leg was like this. He got stung. It was huge. Um, I don't really care to be stung. Um, so it can, a sting can cause a lot of discomfort. Um, it can sting you. You know, it can, it feels like fire. So it can burn you. Uh, so we have that element of fire and then we have the element of water because whatever they use i did like i said i didn't study the the wasp so i'm not really sure but how they make the nest but obviously it's with i don't know if it's with mud if it's with leaves if it's with pollen i have no idea maybe it's coming from their own innards that they you know throw up and, and make it uh, make it with whatever they make it with it obviously has to be something that is wet uh, in order for it to stick together. So there's there's that element of water. And then, of course, the wasp can walk, right? I've seen it. They can walk on the ground, on trees, leaves, you know, and they walk all around their nest. So we also have the element of air. I mean, of, of earth, sorry, of earth. So when I started looking at that, uh, something had come up and I thought I'm going to use the wasp nest for this and what it was is to what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how I made spell work uh, a little bit differently um, using the wasp nest to stop or halt the gossiping um, you know again using the element of air when when you tell somebody something about somebody else that's communication you communicate something to somebody else that's the element of air and the wasp being element of air let's keep thinking about that wasp okay so um you you talk about somebody that's communication that's breath and it blows all over um and on that same note about blowing all over, you think that you just told that person. But, how, you know, that person, um, depending on who you were talking about, maybe that person knows somebody else or knows the person that you are talking about. 
uh, and then maybe that person goes to the person that you were talking about and says, hey, um, just so you know, this person was talking about you. Or, or that person goes and tells this person and tells that person, just like the wind, it starts to spread, okay? Rumors, that's how they get started. Um, and so this happened and I had decided that I was going to use the wasp nest for that. I felt that it was uh, deserving the halting of the gossiping was, was worthy of it. Uh, and the reason is because of the, the main reason behind the, the uh, gossiping or the talking. So um, I thought, yeah, you know, uh, that communication, um, the sting, hey, you need to wake up, um, be careful. You know, be careful because as we know, I'm not going, you know, the law, whatever. If you, if you like to use the threefold law and that's what, that's what you think, that's great. I believe in, um, you know, I do believe in karma and I do believe in as above, so below. So uh, what goes around comes around. Um, and uh, I believe in the, uh, I do believe in the power of magic and and sympathetic magic. So yeah, so I thought you know all the all this hate talk and this power tripping and this uh, you know trying to be bigger than everybody else and have the power. Um, we're gonna I thought we're gonna stop that. You know it's just not necessary now. Um, but you know I didn't want to do it like oh just me like boohoo because whatever. I get talked about all the time. <laughs> um, so I thought I'm going to, and, and so the, the, the yapping was the air element and then that sting would be to, would be to cause the discomfort that not only does it cause, you know, cause me, it stung me, hurt me, um, whatever it did. Um, and when, if you're doing that to me, who else are you doing it to? That kind of thing. It just needs to come to a stop. Like it's, it's just, you know, we're not, we're not kids, right? I, so it's just unnecessary. So it was sort of a wake up call. That's what I wanted to do. I'm going to sting. It's going to sting a little bit uh, when it comes back to you. Um, and, you know, just because you gossip about this person doesn't and somebody does the spell work doesn't mean that it's going to come back someone gossiping about you that isn't how it works that isn't how it works we don't know what's going to come back but i can tell you what's going to come back is going to sting a little bit <laughs> so um because magic it's you know i i mean i do believe in sympathetic magic and i do believe in um you know uh like attracts like and so therefore gossip would attract gossip however uh the sting of of that might be a little bit worse than what you put out and it may not even be the sting to you if if you get my drift okay all right um okay so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to study the <clears throat> the item that you're using so we've already talked a little bit about the nest and, and how they make it etc um and then we've talked a little bit about the wasp so anytime that you're doing a spell work you want to make sure that you study i mean you can't just i know that spell work sounds really fun you know and sometimes it is fun but here's the thing it you know if you believe it if you believe it and believe that it's that it works. I mean, why why would you do it if you didn't believe that it didn't you know that it didn't work? Well, then you're going to want to know what it is that you're using and how that works because just because you know, I mean, you can read a book and the book will tell you do this, do that, but you really want to study it. You need to know. You need to know the roots. So you're going to want to study the uh, plant or the insect or if you're using a stone uh, whatever it is that you're going to be calling the energies on which we're going to be calling the energy of the wasp 
uh, we're just using his nest or her nest as the um, I guess the home of the of the magic or of the spell but we'll be calling on the energies of the wasp because that's what that's that's what we're looking for that communication we want to stop that gossiping that hate talk um you know just that ugly talk we want we want to end that and um we're going to give them a little little wake up call a little sting and uh so yeah so we want to know about the wasp all right when you get the nest and so you're going to want to make sure that you don't if you spray your bees then you're going to have chemical poison in your nest so then are you going to want to use that no <laughs> no you don't want to use that there are natural sprays out there that you can use uh, for your wasp make sure that you get one that does work because there has been a few natural uh, in, um, recipes that I've found to sp spray on a wasp nest, but um, the, it doesn't really work. Um, but there's some stuff out there, and I forget what it's called now. I was trying to think. It sort of stuns them, and they'll fall off the nest long enough for you to get the nest. And I think it's you know it's I think it's made with natural stuff. It just kind of numbs them, and they fall off. I don't know if they die, but anyway. So you're going to want to clean it because uh, you don't want all of this stuff on there. So uh, I probably, I don't know if I'm going to get this whole thing cl oops, cleaned in the time this for this video, but I'm just going to show you. Uh, we're just sort of taking these little shells off and sometimes, sometimes you might find the, you know, the larva might still be in there because sometimes they don't live. Um, and so there might be, you know, stuff in there. So I'm just taking off the little, um, and they're flying everywhere. Get over there. I'm just taking the little shells, the little sealer off the holes. Get this one more off of here. Pretty easy. They come off pretty easy. It's not gross or anything. It's just like little paper. All right, so I've got the good majority of the, uh, I've got them all off pretty much. The little covers, the, sh the shelves that they put on. All right, so now I have these big open things. So you're going to want to clean it. You want to make sure that it's clean. All right. The next thing I'm using tobacco oil, tobacco water. This is actually tobacco cologne, I believe, because remember I've talked about these so many times. I need to stop talking about them, but I always have new subscribers and new, new watchers. Uh, these are actually colognes. I usually call them waters. I use them for just about everything for cleansing and, uh, Oh, where's my little thing? All right. Give me one second. Put you on pause for a second. Okay. I had to get my little uh, pipette thing here. Okay. So, I again, I'm using uh, tobacco a cologne for... I'm going to... Um, cleanse purify I used to I'm using tobacco because I do a lot of work with ancestors and I call on their spirit as well so usually I anoint my hands sometimes with the cleansing solution that I'm using or with another oil but in this case I'm going to use uh, the to tobacco cologne so this is just a little oil pincher thing I'm just going to scoop up some of the tobacco cologne and then all I'm going to do is just drop a few in the holes I won't do the whole thing because I'm not going to probably do the whole thing for this video just to show you remember I'm just doing a show-and-tell video 
So that's all I'm just dropping. If you can see, just dropping in, in the holes. You just need one drop of whatever it is that you're using. Uh, mm, it smells so good. Into the holes. So for me, what that does is it cleanses it because I'm not going to wash it, right? I'm not going to wash it. You can sage it if you want. Um, you know, if, if, if you want to do that, if you want to run some smoke from a uh, ethically sourced sage, that's another subject. I'm not going to get into it. Um, but, uh, or whatever, rosemary, anything that you want, a mixture of herbs, light them on fire, run it through the smoke, use incense, whatever you want. Uh, I like to use the tobacco because I work with the ancestors a lot. And I kind of feel like since I work with the ancestors and I call on their spirit so much, I feel like it's also an offering, <laughs> uh, kind of a type of offering that uh, as well for their help. Okay, next I'm using, uh, this is a, um, well, actually I'm not going to use this. Um, yeah, I will. I'll use it because I'm just showing you. So this is protection oil and it has um, verbena leaf in it. I don't know about that. I don't know about the verbena leaf. I guess that's good for protection. Um, I don't care for this scent. But I'm just showing you what you can do. And it doesn't hurt to have this protection. Protecting yourself, right? So, you just, same thing. You're just going to drop. It depends on how many holes you're going to fill. If you're going to use all the holes, then you're going to fill each hole with the oil. Okay? One drop. One drop is all you need in each of those holes. Okay. Now, right here, this is a load stone. It's a load stone. See this little fuzzy stuff right here at the top? Right there. That's the food. That is lodestone food. Lodestone is a natural magnet. It draws things. It draws things in. So if you were using this for uh, business, starting something, trying to bring in that success, um, then you would use a lodestone. And what I would do, this is lodestone powder, This is or sand, I guess is what they call it. This is what you feed your lodestone with. So whenever you got your your nest done, you would take set the lodestone right next to it. I mean right like have it touch it or whatever, right next to it. And then each day go in and feed your stone or you can sprinkle some of the magnetic stone uh, sand into your uh, nest. But what we're working on and I just wanted to show you that because at the intro I was talking about how you can use it for um, for business because that is traditionally what you would use them for. Okay, but the one that I talked about, I said we're going to use to stop this nasty talking. People like to just love talking about people, don't they? Now this takes a little bit of time, so I'm only going to do a couple. This is Slippery Elm, and Slippery Elm is great for stopping gossip and all you're going to do is stick it in each of the holes. This is a shish kebab skewer. It's a wood one. Uh, I prefer the metal ones. I don't know what I did with my metal one, but this is a wood one. So all I'm doing is just uh, slippery elm, the one that I have, it's real, um, I don't know what you call it. I call it feathery. <laughs> it, it's not, it's, 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 it's got little feathery strings like. 
So all I do is I just take it and I just shove it right into the holes. And the whole time that you do this, you're going to want to be thinking about, you know, if it's a person, like I said, if it's a person and you know 100% who it is, then go ahead and you can write your intention and use that person's name if you want. That's up to you. That is up to you. I have my intention written out here, which I'll get to in one second. Let me fill just a couple more of these holes. So you see I'm just sticking it right there. There's a hole right there, and then I just I just shoved it right into the hole. Alright. There's another one. I'll just do two more. So this is Slippery Elm. It's excellent for stopping gossip, halting gossip. Alright. Okay. So that's good. So I filled, I filled about four or five of them. I filled about four or five of them. Alright. And then you're going to... Um, you're going to seal those. So I have my beeswax candle. This is beeswax. Look at that, beeswax. Even though it's a honeybee, they sting you. They can sting. This is beeswax, and it's red fire. And I'm going to add fire. I hope I can keep it lit because I got the fan on in here. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I can get my lighter going. Hold on. All right. Hope it stays lit. Got my fire going. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to let the wax. Ah! Hang on, folks. When all else fails, turn the fan off. <laughs> all right. So I've lit my beeswax. And now all I'm doing is I'm sealing that slippery elm. Put this candle up so you can see it better. I'm sealing up those holes with the beeswax. And what you're going to want to do is keep thinking about your intention. What is it that you're trying to do? In this case, we're trying to stop the nasty talkers. Trying to shut them up. You know, if they want to talk, talk good. Talk good things. There's one over here. There's no reason to talk about other people because, <gasps> whoa, because you want to um, look, you know, big and better. There's no reason for that. You keep getting too low. All right, I got one more here. Seal it up. And that's one thing to remember that the when, once you put your oils and your you know the like the cologne and stuff it's uh, very flammable so you need to be very careful a little more over here looks like they're sealing really well All right. 
That's good for now. And a partially burned <laughs> crispy critter there. Okay. Now, I have my intention right here. So, I'm going to take this because I'm trying to send this spell out. What I'm going to do is written side down on the back side of this. What I have here is something wicked. Look at that. This is a black locust thorn. Now, these grow on trees. They are very, black locust is, can be very, very poisonous. And I will tell you that the thorns on the tree, these grow all over the tree. Very, very uh, <laughs> dangerous. If you get poked with one of these, they're poisonous. That wound will get pussy. It, it kind of gets infected and it'll get pussy. So the fact that it's really sharp, what I'm going to do is very carefully, I'm going to pierce my uh, nest. Here it is coming out here. I've got the written side out. Okay. I'm going to pierce that. Watch your fingers. And I've pierced it. Pierced it all the way through. So basically I have the sting of the wasp. I have the fact that he was air, uh, that he is stopping that communication, um, taste of the own medicine, um, the wound, you know, is going to be worse for that person than the wound was for me, uh, because like I said, you get pierced with the uh, um, black locust thorn, your wound can get pussy. And the intention is facing out to the universe. And what I'll do is I'm, I will place this on my working altar and with probably just a, a white candle, probably just a white tea light candle. And I will just leave it like that until the candle burns out or until I feel that the spell is done. And, uh, and then when it's done, because of this, it is so sharp, I will be extremely careful to I'm going to actually burn that in my cauldron. Um, I don't want to bury it because I don't want a critter maybe decides to dig a hole unless I bury it way, way, way deep. Um, I'm actually going to burn it. So I'm going to burn it in my cauldron right over there. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to light it, light, light a tea light candle first and uh, sit with it for a minute. Put that intention out. Stop the hate talk. Stop the gossiping. Stop the, you know, all of that. And um, let the magic do its work. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Have them get that little sting um, of what it feels like. And, uh, and understand, and understand, there's no reason for that. Just like there's no reason for the wasp to sting you if you're just minding your own business. But it will. So you could be minding your own business, and somebody out there stings you. It's not nice. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is it. I hope that you, you liked it. And uh, 
be very, very careful collecting these. Don't spray them with pesticides and kill the wasp and then think you're going to use a perfectly good uh, nest. Um, I added the herbs. I sealed them with the beeswax candle, which was red. Um, you can, if you're using it for business success, you can add your uh, lodestone food into your little holes. Even add some patchouli, which is really great for prosperity. Keep it next to your lodestone uh, rock, to your lodestone. Keep it next to that. And uh, then you can just lay your lay this on top of your petition if you want, or lay your petition underneath your lodestone. That would work as well. Whatever you feel. And then when you're done, and for prosperity, you wouldn't use this. You wouldn't use the black locust thorn. That I, I wouldn't. I don't think you would use that. You know. So. Uh, at that point, it might be safer for you, whatever product you used, to bury. So, all right? So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'm going to see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Love.